Welcome to this course, Programming Languages. My name is Eric Chow. The goal of this course is to show you the programming language features and the development of programming languages. And also show you how to implement a programming language using the compiler technology. This course will include design and the implementation of languages and the features of languages. And we will also overview different languages. And after finishing this course, you should be able to make the right choice for languages. This course doesn't include the following. The history of languages. We are not trying to emphasize on the history of languages. And we don't try to teach you all of the programming languages available because it will take too much time and it is not practical. And this course is not a algorithm course as well. We don't teach you how to do programming. We just focus on the language feature and the comparison of the different programming languages. This course does not attempt to teach you the compiler design. It is a separate course after this course. My name is Eric Chow. I'm a IEEE senior member. I'm also a member of the Computer Science Teacher Association and a Taekwondo coach. I graduated from National Taiwan University with my bachelor degree and I finished my master's degree and PhD degree in the University of Southern California. And I have been a member for IEEE for more than 25 years. The intended audience include the following. The junior student in college. The senior student in college. And also the graduate students. You are suggest to finish the data structure before starting this course. And we are assuming you have some background in C programming language. And it is preferred for you to have some background in C++ language as well. Some Java programming experience is also preferred. And Python and also JavaScript. In Unit 1, we will teach you the foundations for programming languages, including the programming language design and compiler front-end. We will teach you what is the lexical analysis based on the tool flex, and teach you how to write regular expression for the input of the flex software. We will teach you how to do the syntax analysis using Python tool and also teach you what is the context-free grammar. And the third step, we will also teach you the semantic analysis and include the attribute grammar. In the end of the unit 1, we will teach you the target architecture to talk about some back-end issue for compiler design. Unit 2 will show you what is the programming language design. Issues including control flow, data type, composite data types. Composite data type we means array, record, union, enum, and some other data structure like list and different data collections. We will also teach you program structures for structural programming. And at the end of this unit, we will teach you object-oriented programming. In Unit 3, we will review different programming models other than the Van Neumann 
machine model. And this part is optional for eight week course because eight week is too short to complete this part. First, we will introduce the functional programming. We will emphasize some scalar programming and maybe or camo or this. We will show you logic programming using the language prologue with the software SWI prologue. And concurrency, concurrent programming using Java multi-threading programming. Finally, we will give you some idea about script programming, mainly on Python language and maybe touching some JavaScript and shell languages. Unit 4 will teach you the runtime program environment. Again, this part is optional. First, we will talk about the software building and software integration issue. Second, we will talk about runtime environment, especially the virtual machine and the runtime environment RTE. The last chapter, we will cover the code improvement. That's optimization of your code. So it is associated with the compiler backends. So come join us.